Participatory budgeting is a movement that started in Porto Alegre, Brazil, and has spread across the globe. It's really a process that community members use to make direct decisions about tax dollars or public funds. This program uh, is a pilot for the city of Los Angeles, but this work has been done all over the world. And when they allowed the communities to select projects, we're talking about air conditioning for schools in New York, um, looking for uh, work with civic engagement for our kids. So I'm not telling you what our communities will decide, but I'm telling you we're gonna have this work designed, prepared, and lifted by communities. Los Angeles has had a bit of a tradition of community-based budgeting. Neighborhood councils that get their budget every single year, 99 neighborhood councils, $50,000, $40,000 a year that they give out. But this is a, a even bolder model to say, let's go to everyday people who might not be part of a neighborhood council, never been to a, a meeting at City Hall. And if you have good ideas for your neighborhood, take them to a local organization, get them on a ballot, and vote on the best ideas for your neighborhood. It's literally putting people's money back in their own hands. In the city of LA, this is incredibly exciting because it's not just participatory budgeting. It's participatory budgeting that centers equity and repair in specific. And so it's a major opportunity for folks that have been impacted by systems of harm and violence to make direct decisions around how money should be invested so that they can thrive right here in Los Angeles. You should know that the LA Civil Rights Department will be able to have community-based organizations uh, do this work for the community, but it's created for and by the residents of the city of Los Angeles. What we're asking for now is for people to help us with participatory budgeting by actually participating on how this process should uh, be designed, where the money should be spent, and how their communities can be served. You get people involved, one, by getting them curious, by inviting them to design the process. When we talk about designing with, it, that means that community members can actually write the rules that govern the process around engagement, around where outreach needs to happen, and around the resources to make sure that real people are able to show up. 